In this video, we'll be uh, completely concentrating on DFS and its implementation in C++. Um, so let's get started with that right away. So first thing I want to do is I want to initialize uh, uh, every, everything like boilerplate. So let me do via stream and we'll be using vectors here. In <coughs> as uh, instead of arrays, we'll be using vectors and using namespace standard and int name. So these are some common things in C++. And the first thing I want to do is I want to have a graph which I mean I want to have a graph of vectors which is an array of vectors of type int let's say g n. and I also want to have a boolean array um, to mark a, to mark a node as visited or not, not visited so, so let me call as visited and it is also 10 uh, because I'm assuming that um, I'm going to start with 10 nodes it can be this can be any no, any number of your wish and i'm going to initialize this as false so at start every node is uh, false i mean every node is not any node is not visited so as we go through we'll be uh, visiting every node and marking them as true so before uh, implementing the dfs function let's write a function to create an edge between two nodes so let's say create edge it will take source and direction destination because we are, are dealing with two nodes here one node will be connected to other node so one is uh, let's say the uh, if a there are two nodes a and b if we are connecting a to b then a is the source and b is the destination right so uh, how do we do that how do we create a edge we will just do g of source dot pushback destination so what this means is that uh, we are just pushing this destination into the source um, source node, which means that uh, this destination goes into the collection of uh, the source uh, edges. So if there is a, so let's assume there are many nodes A, B, C, so on, and A has connections with B and uh, C and D, and we want to add an edge uh, with A and B. Then what we'll be doing is that we'll just push, we'll just be pushing this uh, B into uh, array A. So now it will be having C, D, and B also. So that's what this um, this line is doing. So after this, we can actually create edges. So let's say from zero to one, and let me copy paste that. Let me also create from one to two, from two to five and 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 so I have created some edges here this uh, this makes a graph so that we can uh, use DFS uh, to that okay guys so um, this this is a, a rough visualization of what we have created I actually have added another edge here between 6 and 2 so that we have we have uh, more than one edge connecting to two different edges so yeah so this um, roughly is a visualization of that graph so here yeah, it is quite simple and it may be uh, my drawing is not that good so bear with me so we have 0 to 1 there's an edge between 0 to 1 1 and 2 2 to 5 and so on so we have many edges here so what we will be starting from 0 first thing and we'll be going so we first we visit 0 so we have 0 here We'll visit, I mean this is a, a order that uh, DFS is going to be uh, procedure so we first visit 0 and then we see the children of uh, 0 we visit we will be exploring the children of 0 so first uh, we, the ch there is only one child for 0 which is 1 so we, we go to 1 now so we go to 1 so this is visited now we go to 1 and we will explore the ch children of 1 so we go to 2 so we have visited this and we'll go to 2 and we'll visit 2 and then we'll visit the children of uh, 2 so see that we, uh, there's only one edge going from 2 to 5 so we'll be, visit we'll be going to 5 and visiting that and mark that as visitor and after 5 uh, we'll explore the children of 5 which is 6 in this case so we'll go to 6 and visit that so now we can see that uh, we are at 6 and there are two children um, 2 for 6 which is 2 and 7 so the first children first, for first child we will be visiting is 2 we will go to 2 but we have, we have already seen or, or we have already visited the node so we will be returning back without uh, further uh, moving further 
and we'll be uh, exploring the next one which is 7 so 7 we'll visit that and we'll be going back uh, recursively we have a, a stack going on uh, because of recursion so we'll just roll back everything you can see that we have not visited 3 and 4 because uh, we have um, you know we have not uh, we don't have any edges or we don't have any outcoming or in incoming edges between 3 and 4 to any other edges so that's how it works this will be the ds uh, dfs uh, traversal for this graph so let's see if if the program or the algorithm matches that or not so let us create create that function dfs let us start name that as dfs this dfs what it will take is uh, it will take the vertex uh, the current vertex which we are uh, right now uh, which we are going which we are uh, on the vertex right now so that number will be with us so the first thing we want to check is that if, as you as you may have seen here we we have when we are going from when we were going from 6 to 2 we have we saw that we have already visited 2 so we rolled back everything right so the same thing i want to do here is that to this if you have uh, if you have some idea about recursion this is a base case for recursion so i want to say if um, the visitor of this vertex is true then just return which means that if this vertex has been already visited then just return don't go any further and uh, if if we are at this point uh, it means that the vertex has not been visited yet so what we what i want to do is i want to the first thing i want to do is mark that as visited so i mark the vertex as visited I think I have a spelling mistake here. Let me correct that. Yeah. So after marking this, what we did for uh, in this graph uh, is that uh, if you take this the node six, we went to two and then we went to seven, which means that we are going uh, through every child and we are we are repeating we are repeating the function we are repeating the DFS function again and again for every vertex we are visiting, right? So for every child of that node, or for every children for this six node. The two and seven we are repeating the dfs function so what i want to do is for auto vertex or let's say node which is in which is in g of vertex right so what this loop does is that inside um, this the for inside the ch uh, children of that node i want to visit uh, or i want to do dfs for that child okay so here node means uh, a child of you know that vertex okay so what i want to do with this node is that i want to do dfs of this node that's it so for our convenience let's it let's let's just print out vertex here right and uh, if everything goes well let's let's just run i think we have to call the function here so I'll call DFS and we'll just, let's start with zero here, okay? And if I try to run that, let's run that. Okay, that's okay because that's C plus plus eleven extension. That's okay. And you can see that we are getting a zero one two five six seven, and which is the same which we got here zero one two five six seven. So this is what DFS is all about and once again the most important point is that if you have more than if you have uh, for every node okay for every node we'll be repeating the dfs function once again as i said here for every node we'll be repeating the dfs function okay so uh, this dfs is being called recursively for every child of every node one most important thing is the base condition here if this base condition is not there, uh, the DFS might slip into uh, infinite loop. Okay, yes, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have liked it.